Why self-publishing books builds credibility to your business. Hi, my name is Gabby and welcome to my channel. Did you know another good reason for writing your book using self-publishing is that it is consistent with the entrepreneur lifestyle? Here's how I use it to grow my business and how you can too. Number one, publishing a book defines you as an influencer and authority. In this video, I explain exactly what you can do in order to create credibility into your business. Everyone realizes that writing a book is not easy. Trust me, I know. I've written three. But it goes to show you that you've made a real commitment if you have and if you get things done and you're willing to take a position and it can be overwhelming sometimes it can you can feel overworked sometimes but with some practice and organization you can do it and as a coach and a speaker that's mind-blowing that's really good for prospect clients to know that you have these skills in order to write a book you published a book customers pay extra and gravitate to people that they view as leaders rather than other coaches and speakers who are just pushing advertising and web content you know it's very easy to pay for ads on Facebook or Instagram or whatever it is, but writing a book takes commitment. I can tell you as an author with my experience writing, my first book, 10 Jungle Friends, gave me so much credibility and it opened up lead generations, conversations of who, what, one, where, why when it comes to writing books and also gaining clients. Number two, the book itself raises your visibility through media coverage. Once you have a book, media coverage can come from book reviews and academic discussions. Let's talk about KDP Amazon, for example. Amazon reviews. In this this video, we're going to explain exactly how Amazon reviews isn't the only thing that you should pay attention to, but it can help sometimes. And if you see a book that has zero reviews versus 10, I mean, you're going to go with the one that has 10, right? The book can also give you access to speaking engagements, television interviews, podcasts, IGTV collaborations, special events, lecture halls, and just conversations. And let's be honest, in today's media world, everything is about collaborating in social media, especially with Instagram. Now there's Clubhouse and podcasts. There's just so much out there especially for self-published books you get visibility through amazon website worldwide like I explained to you and that's something that i teach my clients that is my forte amazon i self-publish on amazon so google searches for related topics book reviews that all goes down into the amazon worldwide number three having a book gives you instant credibility with Client. I feel like I keep being redundant, but it's true. It's a very unique way to put yourself out there. It's a very unique way to create credibility into your business. Think about it. People who hire consultants and coaches look for evidence for external credibility, such as reviews, referrals, they back up their own judgment for marketing interactions with them. I mean, think about yourself. If you had ever or when you ever hired a coach or someone, uh, a mentor or someone to help you with your business, didn't you look at their credentials first? You know, their Instagram page or their website or whatever it was. I don't I don't know about you but if I was choosing between two coaches to hire I would probably go with the one that had the most credibility I would be like whoa like this person published a book and not only does she publish a book but it's a bestseller on Amazon I mean I, that goes a long way for high potential clients it's well worth your investment to hand out a personally signed copy of your book this can also go hand in hand with book signings and there's other ways that you can market your book as well it makes customers feel special and it gives you the opportunity to highlight your broad experience and credentials it's kind of like DM on Instagram. You don't want to seem too robotic. You don't want to copy and paste a template. You want to specify a person. You want them to feel special and have an actual conversation with them. Number four, being an author will attract top-notch talent to your business. What does this mean? Potential team members and partners who excel are attracted to leaders and influencers. All right, let's just be honest because that's the truth. It's just like successful businesses, okay? Because they require the best people to deliver your vision and services one step better than the competition. And that's just the honest truth. They're going to look at you versus the other. Credibility, no credibility. And again, I know I sound redundant, but all these go hand in hand at the end of the day. And lastly, number five, a book can provide the bridge to an enhanced career. Writing a book and debating it with key people may give you the confidence and desire to become a conference speaker, business school professor, or executive in another field. Okay, it does give you that confidence because I can speak for myself. It gave me that confidence. This video in itself, I would have not been able to do a year ago or two years ago. I, I would have been, it just would have not happened. And I wouldn't have had the experiences and the opportunities that I got from my books working with and collaborating with other entrepreneurs. Another little example can be for, uh, let's say, in the fashion world. Okay, it also 
serves as an enhanced resume, highlighting your skills and your expertise and your vision. Let's talk about different niches, okay? We talked about fashion. Let's talk about fitness health coach. A lot of fitness coaches have books out there. They publish books about having a balanced nutrition or different workout plans. Or let's say mindset coach. They do the same thing. Life coaches, their niche is a little bit more broader, but there's so much to talk about. Bloggers. If you were a blogger out there, you already have that much content into your website, into your blog, why not just condense it into a book if it's already out there? I hope all of these tips helped you out and I hope that it gave you a little bit of clarity on what to do. I know I get a lot of questions on should I self-publish or traditional publish and I definitely say go the self-publishing route. If you do the research, you'll see that a lot of famous authors started with self-publishing and then publishers have found their books through Amazon, for example. So today I ask you this, what's truly holding you back from self-publishing your own book for your business? It's not hurting anyone. And if you don't wanna write one, there's solutions to that problem. You can hire a ghostwriter, for example, and it doesn't have to be that expensive, okay? You can message me privately and ask me how to do so because I've actually hired a ghostwriter before to write my second book because I needed help on how to translate my book from English to Spanish. And there's so many people who do so and that's not something that you should be ashamed of at all. So with that said, click on the link in the description box below for a free book assessment. I also have two freebies, a checklist and a downloadable workbook that helps you throughout your writing and self-publishing journey. And all of these are free. It's all free. It's going to be down in the description box below. And stick around for these videos I have for you that will help you build credibility into your business. If you are consistent with it, okay? If you found that this video was very useful for you, give it a thumbs up. If you have any suggestions, questions, comments, or concerns, write them in the comment below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Have a great day and or night. Until next time, bye.